I don't know how to say this movie name. It's maybe McClintock. 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 I don't know how to say it. And I should. I should. It's McClintock. Cock. Cock. <laughs> it's a rude word. What I do know is that it was our patron pick this month and it was Ragnar Mersh and we need to thank him because I know already that I'm going to love this movie because John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara's in it again. So we're going back in time and re-watching a different version of The Quiet Man. I freaking love The Quiet Man, so I'm very, very excited for this movie today. Yes. Have I been putting it off because I don't know how to say the name of the movie? Not really, maybe subconsciously. If you still don't know what the patron pick is, then you have to head over to Patreon because I explain all over there. Probably not, but I will explain right now. Every month we pick a patron who gets to pick a movie and this is the movie that is picked for this month. And that explains it best I can. If you want to be involved in that, then you have to head over to Patreon. Also, while, while you're doing things, <laughs> While you're doing good things, you can like this video, subscribe, post notification, um, blah, 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 comment, do everything you can to make the channel grow. All the support means so, so, so much to me and I would not be able to do these videos without you. Um, and I think I said already, I will love you forever. I will say it again, I will love you forever. And um, shout out, let's do our shout outs to our top tier patrons who are Nathan Wolf, Robert McGregor, Adam Antis, Rudolf McGlesga, Brian Medendorp. I need a massive burp, hold on. <sighs> Oh, oh, I'm very, very sorry. Where was I? Rudolph McGlesga, Brian Medendorp, Calico, Jack, Glenn, Anna Quad, Wayne Cryker, Robert Inman, Celeste McAllister, Rob Jones, Ragnar Mers, Alonso Torres, Bill Bryant, Thousandth Ghost, Roger Freeman, and Eric Bonham. And we are ready to watch McClintock. McClintock, cock. God, I, saying, I am so sorry. McClintock and play. The skies are blue. Patrick Wayne, I think, is one of his sons. Oh, I feel like this is the perfect movie right now for me. We could just listen to this song the whole time and I would be happy. Oh, wow, this is crystal clear. Didn't have anything for breakfast but two raw eggs and a mug of honey. No. A mug of honey. Mug. I hope I get it this time, Mr. McClintock. My brothers. McClintock. the big hats already. That's what I said, was it? McClintock. Get over. Did you only me drive? You promised me you would sometime. No, yeah. This is gonna be fun. This is exactly what I'm in the mood for today. How oh my god, you're freaking gorgeous. I'm gonna take all of them home. I would only eat some of you. And then I would wash and blow dry the rest and make the fluffy cows. Hello, Ben. Hey McClinic. 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 No, McClintock. It's got a T in it. McClintock. McClintock. McClinic. Maybe it's just a fast way of saying it. I aim to kill me a plowboy. You do what you want, McClinic. We'll do what we want. He said McClinic. McClinic. I'm so confused. Get me some attention. Yeehaw! People, people! Yeehaw! Wait, that wasn't the best I could do. Yeehaw! That was better. And he's begrudging poor people a measly, a measly 160 acres. Well, he doesn't have to give anything away if it's his. Even the government should know that you can't farm 6,000 feet above sea level. Well, you should know because it's your land. 6,000 feet. That's a lot of feet. And you call him Mr. McClenny. Why? Well, Douglas, I guess it's because he earned it. It's about respect. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't earn the respect. Oh, excuse me, please. Look around, take your time. Draco, I got a thousand Havana... Is his name Draco, like Draco Malfoy? Good morning, GW! Good morning, I stole some stick candy. Please, help yourself! Is GW, is his name George Washington? Like, the real George Washington? Who's named after who? George... Is that his name? George Washington? <laughs> I don't know. Called me Mr. Birnbaum, just as if she'd never seen me before. And as if that veil that covered her face would keep me from recognizing her. Who is it? I thought she was in New York or Europe or someplace. So did I. Oh, that's going to be Maureen. Catherine's in town. Katie? Catherine. What is she to you? Maybe an ex-girlfriend. wonder what he's so preoccupied about. Haven't you heard? No, what? 
Katie's back in town. Katie must be Catherine. And everyone knows her too. I think they must have been a big thing. And she must have left to go to New York. But now she's back. I thought you'd want this. So explain the situation. And have everybody know that we're meeting. Everybody knows, and what's the difference? Everybody does know. Everyone knew before him. Let us open the discussion. Very well. Our daughter is coming home in a few days. Our daughter? Persuade you to let her live with me. Part of the time in the capital, part of the time in New York, and... Well, where is she? Where's she been? as crude and as vulgar as all of this country. And if she goes your way, she'll be all show and no stay. Maybe there's like a middle that we can have. A bit of rough and ready, but polite at the same time. No go, Kate. Oh, how I hate you. What happened? Half the people in the world are women. Does it have to be you that stirs me? <gasps> but at least he's a gentleman. I doubt that. You have to be a man first before you're a gentleman. <laughs> That's a cute one. <laughs> you better listen to an expert, sonny. I'm telling you, you got to grovel. Human nature gets him every time. I don't think he would like a groveler. I need that job badly. Well, you got a job, son. See my home ranch farm and he's over at the corral. Oh, that's what it takes. He needs a sob story. Step down off of that carriage, mister. <laughs> Hold that hog leg. Wait, I thought he offered you a job. Punched many a time in my life, but never for hiring anybody. Uh, I don't know what to say. What happened? You mean you're still hiring me, Mr. McClinic? Well, yes, sir. I mean, I'll certainly deliver a fair day's work. For that, I'll pay you a fair day's wage. What just happened there? I thought you offered him the job, and then he tried to punch him, and then he's like, I, I'm still offering you the job. <laughs> don't get it. They're going to end up buddies. He's going to be like his new dad. And then his daughter's going to come, and he's going to fancy him. Yes. That's my prediction here. So he's going to end up being like his son-in-law. Are interested in knowing just what uh, portion of this new land will be your new home. But if you can't farm on the land, then what do you do with it? I've got to touch a hangover, bureaucrat. Don't push me. I would have flicked his hat off <laughs> and then walked away so he'd have to bend over and pick it up. You wouldn't believe it now, but 20 years ago, she was a mighty handsome maid. I still believe it. 20 years ago, you thought so too, Mr. Douglas. <laughs> Where'd you get this? That boy's mama baked them. Ah. She's a widow woman, boss, and she's got a long, hard road home. Hire her. Yeah, get her to cook for you. Oh, she's beautiful. I always said you had a heap of sense. Wow. This here's my boss, and he has few choice words to say about your biscuits. About your biscuits. <laughs> He'd like to sample more of your biscuits. You should try our muffin. <laughs> All you'll have to do is give advice. Be one of the family. I kill myself. He wants to work. Kill yourself, I'll cut off your pigtail and you ain't never gonna get to heaven. <gasps> cut off his pigtail. All right, all right, I'll be one off a family. You blue that, you blue that. Hilarious. <laughs> what on earth are you doing in that idiotic looking outfit? And don't you dare call me Kate. Why is she so angry? Why, the hired help insults your wife. He's just ignorant. He doesn't know any better than to tell the truth. <laughs> I am Mrs. McClintock. Kate, I mean Catherine. You can't be Mrs. McClintock just when it suits you. Ain't you gonna say nothing, boss? No. He knows from experience to keep his mouth shut. Toast, lightly browned and unbuttered. Eh? Unbuttered? Who has toast unbuttered? Butter makes everything better. That's why it's called butter, because it's one letter away from better. Well, Mr. McClinic, he ain't afraid of nothing. I once thought that. He's definitely afraid of his ex-wife. Soon to be ex-wife. I really need to know what happened. Someone needs to spill the tea. Thought it would give me something to pass the time. See, I have nothing to do all day long. What 
the hell is wrong with you? You don't own the world. You can't look at people like that. Thank you, Mr. Birnbaum. I could use one. I came into town behind a runaway team. Oh, you could have stayed at home. Nobody made you. Indian fighting is good experience for our kind of conversations. Oh. It'll wait, Catherine. What has she got to tell you? It must be important. It's when the matter of our daughter remains unsettled. I am going to remain here and... What's the matter? Daughter is settled. What she needs stays. spoken about? <sighs> Stubbornness. Oh, where she stays. I don't like that stupid feather hat. Or the bogey green dress. <sighs> she needs to take her hat off, let her hair down, and wear a, not a bogey green dress. She needs to look like she did in The Quiet Man. First Sergeant Michael Patrick Iloli, for bravery above and beyond the call of duty. She seems more chilled this morning. Just to trade me that medal for a case of canned milk. D.W. was off somewhere as usual, fighting Indians. Wait, is he... is he not the baby's dad? Did he just take her on? Put up with our so-called benevolent patronage. Fight of the nincompoops that have been put in charge of it. You're a nincompoop. That guy there with the glasses. If you look up nincompoop in the dictionary, there'll be a tiny little picture of your face. We'll get the girl back. Girl. The girl the Indians kidnapped. What? Millie Jones, one of the settlers' daughters. The Indians kidnapped her. That's ridiculous. Nah. Nah, that never happened. You're insane. Let's go, Sheriff. He'll get to the bottom of it. You haven't changed a bit. You're still an hysterical fool. Hysterical fool? <laughs> Katie shot you. Not yet, Drago, but it took restraint. I want her to take their dress off and it, <laughs> just not, not be naked. <laughs> Although that would be better. But she needs to be at one with nature. With a flowy scarf dress. And get your feet out and get your hair down and let it blow in the wind. I don't like it one bit. What don't you like? They're planning to hang an Indian. Who is? Who's planning? You better hurry because it looks like they're awfully close. <laughs> Excuse yeah, me. Oh, it's your friend. That's your friend. Some place or meet some fellers. What are you saying? That I didn't raise my girl right? Stop doing that, you ass. But how do you know this Indian had anything to do with it? She's gone, ain't she? Sh oh my god, that would well piss me off. Pa, I'm over here! There she is, asswipe. She's telling the truth, Mr. McClinic. We weren't doing nothing. Well, that's not important right now. The important thing is that you need to go and do something to his gut. I would, I would punch him until he goes to the ground, and then kick him, and then... Scratch his eyes and do this to his so eyeballs with your thumbs. Shotgun, and she's she's really hard. That's it, he's down. Do it, do it. Get your thumbs in his eyes. Excited? I know, I know. I'm going to use good judgment. I haven't lost my... T yes. Might have got somebody killed. Yes. And somebody ought to belt you in the mouth. It was very close to getting somebody killed. The hell I was... <laughs> oh! Started something. I would not have put up with that, so he did the right thing. <laughs> Come on, you get involved as well. Get that hat off. I know she can fight. <laughs> I'm surprised they could feel it with an ass that size. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she's down. Here we go. That's what I needed to see. Get that stupid hat off. You and your friends. Well, we at least saved your hat. <laughs> Did you not have fun? I think. Them two to get together when I first saw her because she's like the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my whole life. But then when um Mrs. McClintock came back, I want them to get back together now, or maybe they can all get together, they can be a threesome, a triple is it called a triple? But now that we're alone, when I want the opinion of the hired help, I'll ask for it. Oh, don't speak down to her. 
But you and I both know that's just to keep them from getting the idea they uh, run things. Oh, this is going to be interesting. They're either going to, yeah, they're going to be best buds. They're going to team up and be the strongest female weapon in McClintock. Daddy! Oh, wow. Oh, the mayor was going to be here, but he had to go to the territorial capital on a horse theft matter. But I'm going to give his speech. How amazing that everyone knows who she is. What a community. I've had my scalp a long time, and I aim to keep it. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. You look like you mean business. Does it hurt still? I feel it when it comes on to rain. An inch higher and I wouldn't have had to worry. What was it? A shot or an arrow? A bullet or an arrow or a knife or... Your people will have to follow my instructions to the letter. It no is the law of the la... Slap him. Slap his glasses off his face. Oh, I mean, you look so much like your mother. Or even prettier. <laughs> Hello, Jing. We got jelly pie for dinner. Oh. I'm not cooking. <laughs> And asking for the honor of calling on Miss Rebecca. No. Well, there she is. Ask her yourself. No. Not you. The other guy. I'm out of here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> yes, Mom. Them two, yes. Uh, Sam, could you come and help me a minute? Yes, of course. Do I have a bogey? <laughs> you know, your mom's sure cute. It's uh, too bad you didn't inherit her eyes. Oh, I know what you're doing. He got a letter at college. What sport? Glee club. Glee club? <laughs> Don't you dare hug me! He just, he caught you. He wasn't hugging you, he caught you. Stop being so stubborn. This is why boys are always so confused. <laughs> they don't know if you like him or not. Just everybody. There's nothing like a bit of jealousy to bring two people back together. The lesson I learned back home, don't fight in front of women. Oh, we're out of sight. Oh, but we like it. The women like it. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Effortless. <laughs> it's not even trying. <laughs> it's easy peasy for him. You just knocked yourself out. Get yourself cleaned up. Go ask that girl for a dance. Who? We all know who. <laughs> it's, just, it's just standing there taking it. What do you do? Say! Whoa! He didn't do no such thing. And none of this nose twisting. Ah! Do the eyeball thing with your thumbs. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some punch on him. Why'd you and Mama stop living together, Daddy? Yeah, why? I want to know this. Why'd you separate? Aren't you going to answer me? No. Maybe it's too adult for you. At your age, you always know what's usual. Is it Mrs. Warren? No, she had nothing to do with it. Mama's often so, well, so petulant. Petulant? She's very fiery. It's the red hair. You're gonna have every young buck west of the Missouri around here trying to marry you. Partly because I own everything in this country from here to there. Yeah, he speaks the truth. What I'm gonna give you is a 500 cow spread. The real reason, Becky, is because I love you. Oh, And he doesn't want you to be spoiled. He brought this. He must have intended to use it. Oh, well. Sing us a song. Well, if you really... Oh, do you have to? I don't know if I want to hear this. I'm clever. It's your move. Oh. It is your move. Go and snatch that thing off of him and hit him across the head with it. I'm not clapping. Well, uh, good night, sir. Good night, Miss McClendon. Good night and do come again. Do not come again. I want you out of the picture. I want to see what happens with you two. Now you've got me wrangling dudes. <laughs> He's loving this. As would I. Yeah! Ha ha. Hi! <laughs> He's pooping his pants. 
He slandered my honor. He did? I said what I said, and I'll stand by it to the death. What did you say? I said that any girl who would permit a man to kiss her before they're formally engaged is a trollop. If you're my father, if you love me, you'll shoot him. Well, I'm your father. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, you shot him. You really shot him. Well, that's what you wanted. Guys, you'll be the first man ever killed with a blank cartridge. We use this to start the races on the fort. Oh, I thought I saw blood. I'll give you what you deserve. You wouldn't dare. Okay, big kiss. I? Ah! You'll think next time. <laughs> He's gonna spank her. <laughs> oh, this is funny. You're gonna have to leave them. They're gonna be getting it on pretty soon. I don't intend to stand here and hold a midnight conversation with an intoxicated man. That's because you're scared to tell him what's really bothering you. Scared to admit the truth. And I am not intoxicated. Yet. Yet. <laughs> you, you and me. You and me. <laughs> chief ever eats unless first he sees that the pots are full of meat in the lodges of the widows and orphans. No. Charity is a fine thing for widows and orphans, but no warrior can accept it, for if he does, he is no longer a man. Oh. Because we are few now and have few weapons, but we will fight and we will die Comanche. Oh, that was deep. But very emotional. United States Cavalry be made available to escort them and the Comanche Nation to Fort Sill. Why can't they just live off the land? It's their land. They do what they want. Sway them! Have them give us few guns to make the fight worthwhile! I don't think he can. I almost wish I could arrange that, Puma. Ahalani cha. Ahalani cha. That's sad. Sweet as the roses on the summer. Fling your hat up. And I'll love her till I die. Katie Gilloni. Yay. Mrs. Warren. Oh, good evening. I, uh, I want to talk to you about something. Do you like it? Oh, she was well up for that. I thought she would hold a carry on about it. Three feet in the air. It's got to be a record. I'm sure it is. Oh. The reason I... <laughs> Down the hatch. Yes, sir. What's wrong with it? Drink it. I'll put you to sleep. <laughs> you know my wife? Her name's Kate. She insists on being called Catherine. Do you know her? Yes. We all know her. And that's what I wanted to talk Well, to. she thinks that Cuthbert... What does she want to talk to you about? Let her speak. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, this isn't going to go well if your wife sees you. 101 is quite simple. Now, G.W. McClintock, I have something. <laughs> He's not interested. He's heard it all before. I wanted to tell him I was quitting. You see, Sheriff Lord has asked me to marry him. Really? He's coming. He wants involved in this conversation. Oh, oh, oh. Watch out, you'll get us all killed. <laughs> George Washington McClintock. Hey, you could kill someone doing that. My wife does not understand me. Why should you be different? Are you ever going to get up those stairs? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just sleep there. I would like to say a few modest words regarding my... <laughs> <laughs> well, Catherine, I've been here for three days. I haven't heard from you. Is anything wrong? Wrong? She's not interested. About what? About you and me. I don't think she thinks there is a you and me. Well, I'm a big girl and I can take care of myself. My husband knows it. My husband? My husband? <laughs> you are a very crude man. Well, I guess so, but that was a rough horse. You must have knew that before you married him. It was worth it. <laughs> I think you like it. She does like it. There you go, man. Oh, this might... This might be carnage. Are there, there may be a way to start something here. Oh, 
Oh, oh Christ, Some, it's a way to kick off, I think. Are you just leaving without causing any problems or...? I love that. I love the headdress. Headdress? Is it called a headdress? Headdressed. But no, there's no tea. <laughs> They're not shooting anyone though, are they? These feathers! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Only you! But one thing still has me puzzled. Where did they get the guns? He knows. Wondering the same thing. My kidney's been bothering me. <laughs> Can I do? Nothing! Just like you've always done. I think she wants you to show that you care. But my father used to say, you raise your voice, it doesn't do any good. It's time to raise your hand. Oh, violence is not the answer most of the time. What's been happening around here? Oh, I wonder. You've got hay all over you. He's got lipstick all over his face. <laughs> is Who that his it said only a trollop that gets... It does kind of look like him. Oh, but we are engaged, sir. You are? That is, with your permission. Well, you've got it. Yay! I guess this is the only engagement that ever started off of a spanking. <laughs> now it's just you and your ex-wife. Soon to be ex-wife. Not anymore. Not now. He's going to get some sense in here. <laughs> you in <laughs> You remember, you came home from Denver with lipstick all over your car. Where was the lipstick from then? Why did you not just ask him? and talk about it. Someone catch her! Stop her from running. <gasps> oh, you're in for it. <laughs> oh God, is that someone's bath water? <laughs> Everyone's loving it. I would be too. Peter, come up and oh! Oh! Thanks. Oh! <laughs> Proud of you. Oh! 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 <laughs> Keep it. You may need it. <laughs> you need to keep the fiery woman in line. This is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her hanging off the end. Dancing at the governor's ball? No, GW. Happy day! Yay! See? That's what they needed. Well done, guys. It's about time. <laughs> we are, of course, going to give this movie best movie ever. I, and I did it again. I watched the whole movie and I didn't write anything down. It was very light-hearted. It was very much the movie that I really wanted to watch right now. And that's why it's getting best movie ever. I think it's probably the funniest um, John Wayne movie that I've seen. And I also really liked, I, it was so nice to see him as like a family man with his, with, and he was a dad. It was so nice to see him as a dad. And although he never had his wife there, like a wife wife the whole time, you could see it was there. I just, I wanted to know more about the lipstick on the collar because if he's been a bad man, then that gives her every right to run away for two years and then decide that she wants to come back again and then come back again, but not tell him why. <laughs> Oh, the fight scenes, the fight scenes again. I always seem to love them in the John Wayne movies. They're very not dark. <laughs> they're, they're funny and they make them funny and they make them um, that you want to watch them and, and you enjoy watching them. So I need to thank Ragnar Mars again for, yes, I thanked him at the start because I knew I was going to really like it. Did I predict anything or no? Wait, I still don't even know because people were saying McClin McClinic and people were saying McClintock and people were saying McClintic. McClintic. 
McClinic, 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 McClinic. We'll just say it very Scottish way, McClinic. There you go. That's how you say it. And that's how everyone needs to say it from now on. We are always getting banging, banging, banging patron pick movies every single month. They're banging. So who's going to be the next one? Will it be you? Will it be me? No, because I can't be in the draw, but you could be. Only if you're over on Patreon. And while you're doing good things, you should like this video. You should um, subscribe if you're planning on staying. You should comment. You should... Uh, da, da, da post notification. Right, I'm gonna go because I'm bursting for a pee. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mwah.